Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Daryl Guberman. I just got out of a meeting in the Bronx and I'm now in lower Manhattan. I'm going to be meeting some engineers, former engineers. They asked me to meet them, several of them, concerning Boeing and they used to work there. Um, the quality is slipshod, I have to say this. And I emphatically say this to you ladies and gentlemen, you cannot make this up, it will be underneath the video that when you hear David Calhoun, the CEO of Boeing, state that our regulator, the FAA, well, let me tell you something. He is incorrect. He sat on the board of Boeing in 2009, and basically what he did was he was part of the issuers of bonuses for Dennis Mullenberg. Dennis Mullenberg, the former CEO, ended up with 62 $2 million dollars he had to forego his 14.9 million dollar bonus or whatever it is stock options so he walked away a happy man 62 million dollars big deal two planes went down and that's the way it looks with uh, poor um, David Calhoun he was on the board in 2009 when the FAA came in and gave Boeing regulatory authority so I ask you this question I pose it to all of you how can a regulator watch over a regulator? Even if the Department of Transportation comes in, how can a regulator watch over a regulator? In 2019, under Dennis Mullenberg's tutelage, they get rid of 900 inspectors. Do not let them talk about fancy schmancy stuff. I've been involved with quality for over 40 plus years. Again, when you hear, when you hear when you hear David Calhoun say, and our regulator, I'm waiting for the NTSB, the National Transportation and Safety Board, give me my analysis. They're all in bed together, especially with Boeing as a regulator since 2009. You will find the articles down below. You'll also find embedded in a couple of those articles where the FAA actually started in 2005 to issue a regulatory authority to many uh, aircraft companies. My telephone number is 203-556-1493. Again, I emphatically say this, not to destroy the airline industry, but to elevate you, the person who flies on the plane, the CEOs. In fact, if you go Daryl Guberman, G-U-B-E-R-M-A-N, warns CEOs, you should be able to get the most recent article that will go through the litany of impropriety. Again, 203-556-1493 or Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L, T-Q-R-S at Yahoo.com. Now, I've tried to get a hold of David Calhoun. I've sent him um, our CV. I've sent him letters of recommendation. I don't know whether he got it or not or whether his secretary got it. But I will say this. My team and I can assist them with reducing and re reduction of escapes, as he's talking about with the door. He should not just talk in his most recent interview. He should not just talk about the door that popped off the Alaska airline. He should talk more about the entire aircraft as a whole. You just can't focus in on one part. If you focus in on one part, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna have failure somewhere along the line. I thank you very much. I look forward to hearing from you again, 203-556-1493 or Daryl, TQRS at yahoo.com. And this video is how can a regulator regulate a regulator? QA expert Daryl Guberman gives you the information. Thank you.